Good morning. I hope your day is going good. Uh, for me, it is 1 p.m. I have just left a meeting, um, which is actually at a place I was at a few vlogs ago, um, that is the owner of Waffle King. Uh, we just left there. I am actually heading out to Dunwoody now to go to another client where I'll be putting in a um, new computer. Um, it's been a productive day so far. The meeting went well. The computer went in very smoothly. Didn't really have a lot of issues. Now I'm uh, heading to this place and um, hopefully this job will go well. This job wasn't supposed to start till 2.30 but I moved it up because if I start at 2.30, I won't be done till like 5. And if I leave Dunwoody at 5 p.m. in Atlanta, that means that I may get home by 6.30 p.m. at night. And that's a maybe. So for me, I'm heading there now at 1 o'clock. I'm going to be there by about 1.30, get started on this job, and hopefully have it knocked out by like 3, 3.30, 3.45, so that I can get home to my lovely family by 4.30. Um, and I think today we're going to go to Taco Bell, get some food, and um, don't really have a lot planned. There is a new episode of The Challenge coming on tonight. Cannot wait for that. We are building that place there when we lived at the Arrival in Lodge right there. So a little bit of backstory as I'm going down Cobb Parkway. Um, basically, me and my family moved into a lodge last month last October because we had planned on um, we planned on buying a house in February uh, basically what happened was we really couldn't find a place that we wanted in the area that we wanted and at the same time it was just a whole lot of stress and just we were kind of like you know what let's wait another year I have some some bad things on my credit from like seven years ago and I lost a job that'll fall off in October this year so I said let's wait a little bit and then we will try to get that house the next year that way my credit score will have went up from that and um, you know then we can move forward have a better interest rate all that kind of stuff the kind of things that you got to think about before you just jump into doing it now yeah there was places that I found and I almost wanted to just say look here's my money take my down payment give us the keys but I don't think it would have been the right choice. And in a house, and a car, anything really expensive that you have to pay on for many years, I feel you should take your time and not um, not just jump into it. Um, now that I, f I feel like I've been a little nerdy and talked about financing and stuff, I'm gonna get on down to this client and I'll probably roll this into, um, into a montage of the job that I'm doing. More of this bridge work that I was talking about yesterday. Um, this thing is going to be massive and a few miles long. I really can't wait to make a video for it. Let's uh, see how this 75 traffic is going to treat us today. Yeah, Vining's uh, isn't my exit. See, when I got to the end of 75, it, it split for 285, and for whatever reason, I went the way like I'm going towards like Alabama, when I really needed to go the way like I'm going towards Gwinnett. So now I'm like four miles out of the way and, and, and behind, and it's 126, and, and that, that sucks, man. My absolute favorite gum. Well, maybe not my favorite, but it's it's really good. All of that traffic is why I'm so mad at myself because I put myself two miles behind all of this. <sighs> Back on to 285. Listen to this when I pull up. Literally talks to you. Welcome to Beach Street Dunwoody Medical Center. Please take your ticket with you. Jesus. <clears throat> and actually what you don't notice is there's cameras and, and sensors everywhere. Um, and those cameras and sensors basically read your tag and everything. Um, if you actually work here, your tag's registered. And uh, when you pull up, it'll say your name. So if I worked here, it would have pulled up and said, Hello, Christopher Smith, and, and would have like let me in. 
I think that's pretty dope. Um, as always, there's no parking anywhere. I'm just going to the top. All right, I am here now. Um, as you can see from behind me, I'm at the, parked at the top. I always park at the top because there's this nice little shortcut that's right here. Um, and see, I'm able to just go down these few steps and then boom, I'm basically at the front door instead of trying to deal with like the elevator and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so now I can actually start the work montage. Let me say, first of all, that the track used in this was used with permission. It is uh, one of the tracks that I engineered myself when I made music. And uh, my key just fell out of my pocket. I got a hole in my pocket. Either way, um, let's uh, make it work. I must say, I wish I would have thought to record what just happened. So I forgot my wallet at home this morning. When I got here, I got a receipt for parking, but since I was only here for like 10 minutes, I didn't get a parking slip um, from the office I was at. It completely slipped my mind, because like I said, I kind of walked in, walked out after talking with him for a minute. So. <laughs> I go to go to leave and I can't pay. I have to hit the button to call the lady, and then they literally sent a lady over to um, to where I was, and she had to like hit this number and put in this code and do all kinds of stuff to to let me out. Either way, I finally got out. But let me say that I've I've never had that experience at Wellstar or any of the other places. Normally, it's you know real quick. You press one button, boom, you're up and running. And Incoming call. Who is press calling me? I'm trying answer. to freaking record incoming call um, press the pickup button to answer either way uh, either way um, I got out and now I'm actually heading to Micro Center uh, I'm gonna be getting uh, gonna be getting a new monitor I think I'm going back to the Waffle King place to put that monitor in and then um, then I'll probably be heading home after that hopefully fingers crossed let's see I needed to take the time to put this in this vlog. I am so excited right now. I was on my phone, I accidentally swiped to the left. As I've mentioned, I have a Pixel, and so it brought up the uh, like Google Now menu, telling me about all the stuff that I'm always looking at and anything that's new. Either way, it told me that Google has finally actually released Google Glass Enterprise Edition. I'm stoked. It, um, from at least what that I read, it now has a bendable um, hinge on this side, I believe, so that you can like fold them up, makes them a little more compact. Uh, besides that, they moved the camera from a five megapixel to an eight megapixel, which probably makes a pretty good difference. They increased the battery life. They did not say how much that they increased the battery life. Considering that it's an enterprise device and that it's made for work for like FedEx and UHL and companies like that I am thinking that it at least last eight hours at least um, And before I know it was nowhere close to that they didn't have specs on the processor or anything Last I had read and what I believe went through the FCC was that a Atom Intel Atom processor was going into the new version of Google Glass but that was before the project was kind of put on hold at the end of or at the beginning of 2016 I believe um, it was kind of put on hold and they said you know hey we'll just you know thank you for exploring but we're not making any more devices yada yada either way they have finally released it they they sh there is some photos of it going around it is what my um, that is what the, my thumbnail is of course um, and they've upgraded it a little bit now 
what I did read on one site was that they have two departments. They have an enterprise department and then they also have a, a consumer department. So what that means is that they are going to likely still release Google Glass for regular consumers like me who have been dying for one since 2013. I've honestly almost bought one off eBay a couple of times, but I, I can't pay $500 for an outdated... Oh, look at that. I couldn't get it. I can't pay $500 for an outdated device. It's just, it's not, it's crazy to really do that in my opinion. So uh, that, that really made my day though. Hopefully considering that they've made that, they will, um, they will release a consumer version. Please Google, please do. I think, I feel that the way they did the glasses was perfect. Everybody complained that there wasn't a red light. There's a red light by the way, yes. You can let you know when someone's recording. Either way, I don't know why that matters because there's no red light on the cell phone. So I can walk around with the cell phone in my hand and record all day and nobody's going to know. But I guess with it being on your head, it made a big deal. Either way, Google, I hope you actually release it. I'm excited that you have made the Enterprise Edition that tells me that the project is not completely, completely dead like I was thinking it was because I thought it was game over for Google Glass. Um, but yes, please get that consumer product out, preferably before Apple or before Amazon or someone else does it. I know Snapchat uh, came out with their little goggles, but those those are garbage. You, your device, your device was the future. Being able to have the the, the time and, and GPS navigation and photos and notifications and text, everything, email, all right there in my eye, without me ever having to look away. I think is the, the, the it's the future and Google is the future in my opinion either way I'm uber excited this has totally totally made my day now I'm heading to Taco Bell Bubby did you hear the big news so you remember Google Glass no. the Google glasses that I showed you the things with the little camera on them that I'd wear on my head yeah, yeah. So they, they, they've made another version of them. So yeah, they are totally going to be coming out with, hopefully coming out with a version for, for normal people like, like us. I know, right? See? See? That was my reaction. Did you know I was recording? You did? Oh. Well, maybe that was why she had that reaction. Either way, she, she was actually surprised, I think, when I told her. Are we going to the McDonald's that has the super cool playground? Yeah, the one with the basketball goals? This McDonald's has, like, these basketball tunnels. It's, it's really dope. I would have loved to have this as a kid, but they have cool stuff like this 20 years ago. They didn't. All right, I think I'm going to end the day here. Uh, I am back in the car. <clears throat> I gotta run down to Marietta and get something for a job that's tomorrow. Um, so I am gonna go handle that. My wife's at home. She's not been feeling very well. And um, Kaylee, our daughter, she is there taking care of her while I have to go do this. So uh, I'm gonna end it here. Hopefully we will have something better for tomorrow. Um, but I am excited about the Google Glasses. So uh, like the video, subscribe, um, join the crew, and we will see you tomorrow. Deuces.